Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the basics of Git and GitHub. Uh, if you don't know what those things are, uh, I'm not quite exactly sure why you clicked on the video in the, to begin with. Um, but basically, just for the, the noobs out there, I guess, uh, Git is a software program that allows you to upload things to a Git repository, either hosted you know, by yourself or by GitHub or GitLab or something like that. Git, GitHub is just a place to store repositories. Um, it's mostly used by developers to store code and um, share codes with not only their, sometimes their customers, but with, with each other, whatever, uh, you know, whoever they want to share it with. Things can be public, it can be private, whatever. Um, so the first thing you can, if you want to use GitHub in order to uh, share your, to upload files or even just to back up your dot files or whatever, uh, the first thing you want to do is create a uh, GitHub account. You can also use things like GitLab, or um, there are ways that you can host it yourself by using Git on a, your own server. If you have a some kind of server, you can do it yourself. But that's not what this tutorial is about. I'm going to use GitHub. You just create your own account. I'm not going to walk you through that because it's just like any other thing. You can just you just create an account. You should end up on a page that looks something like this. It won't look exactly because this is a, an older account. So then you press this plus button up here and hit New Repository. And then you give the repository name. I'm going to call this NVim Ubuntu. And that's because we're going to be uploading our NVim file that we've been working on in our tutorial system, in t tutorial series, uh, our NV NeoVim uh, config file from scratch. And you just give it a, you can give it a description here. And you want to create Make sure it says public, and that's it. You don't want to do any of these other things quite yet. Uh, you'll, we're going to create our own readme later on. Uh, we we'll, might talk about get ignore, but probably not tonight. Uh, and then uh, the, you can always choose a license later. So you just hit create repository. And then you're going to create it. It's really important that you don't add a readme on that previous page. Because otherwise you do not get this URL. You can find it other ways, but it's easier if it just takes you right to this URL. You're going to need that. Um, so let's go ahead and switch to our virtual machine here. I'm going to, yeah, sign back in. Oops. Let's see if I can type today. Yep. All right. So we're going to want to open up a terminal and do an LS just to see what we're here. So I've created a, a directory here. You do this by make directory, and I called it repository. Um, you can call it whatever you like. You can call it git. You can call it dot files. Whatever you need to call it, just or you know, file if you're just practicing. Um, I've already done that, so I'm going to cd into repository. Actually, what I think what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start over so that we can just, you can see me do this. So what we're going to do is make directory dot files. Okay, we're going to cd into dot files and we're going to run git. Hold on a second. I need to make sure that I'm doing this right because we're not redoing this video. Uh, so you open up your terminal program you, and you make a directory and then we want to do is create so touch readme.md Okay, that's basically a markdown file that allows you to, uh, that's the going to be the, basically the home page or whatever shows up underneath the files on GitHub. Okay, and this will basically show, and then we can uh, end them into readme. I hate not being on ZSH. <laughs> One of these days, and this... This is a file for our NeoVim from scratch video series. For now, that will work just fine. And you hit, you save out of that. And if we cat into to read me that, basically that's just going to give you what's in the file. Now we want to do this, git init, okay, 
that, that tells Git Hub or Git specifically that this directory is a Git directory. Um, now we want to do Git add README. Okay. Um, alternatively, if you have more than uh, one thing in the file and you don't want to go through and list them all, you can do git add dash s all. And that will add everything in the directory to uh, uh, to the ch the change tracker that basically tells you these are the things that we're going to upload to our repository. Okay, so the next st thing, step four, is to create a commit. So we want to do git commit dash m. Basically, this git commit is... Uh, what this does is it tells Git to look for anything that's in this directory that has been added that has changed since the last time we've added things, and the dash m uh, option allows us to use to create a message. So this is just for initial commit. Okay. All right, we got to do those things. All right, so we're gonna have to, to change these things. All right, I'm gonna do. Git, I forgot that you had to do this first. It's been so long since I had to do this. Dash dash global user dot email. And mine is mtwb47. Oops. Gmail.com. Okay. And name. This is just Matthew Weber. Okay. You will have to do that. So you, that email address is going to be the one that you uh, signed up with your GitHub for uh, under. So if you, you whatever email you used. Um, so now we can go through and do the initial commit. There we go. And this is what you should, should see if you've been successful. The next thing we want to do is connect your repo with this directory. So we want to do git remote add origin oops hold on origin yep and then we want we're gonna need that h that URL that we saw earlier. So go back here and copy that and V yep there we go and then um you want to hit enter. Yep, and that shouldn't have any output at all if you've done it right. Okay, now we have connected our local copy of uh, dot .files, which is the name of our directory, to the repository called uh, nvimubuntu.git. Very simple. The, the last thing uh, we want to do, I believe... I think I skipped us a file here. I think we need to push it. I think when I made these notes, I forgot to push something. Yeah, all right. It's interesting that, the, <laughs> that I didn't write this down. So we get push... And I think there is a uh, yeah. All right. So dash u is what we need to put here in origin master. Okay. And then it's going to ask you for your username, which mine is this, and your password. And it's going to upload. And if it's successful, that's what it'll look like. Now, if we go back to our repository here and just click on here, you'll see now this is the file for our NeoVim Scratch video series. And that's exactly what we had in our readme.md file. Now, basically, that's all you need to know. But let's go through and actually upload a directory uh, that we said we were going to do. So... What we want to do is cp r, okay, tilde slash dot config nvim. 
and we want to do that right here in dot files. Actually, it's just easier to do it this way. Okay, and then if we see it back into dot files, I really can't spell today, and we do an ls. Now we have a directory nvim in there and the readme. Okay, so what we want to do now is get uh, we want to do get add dash dash a for, or all. Okay, that's going to add everything that's in the directory there. It will basically say we want to go through and update everything that's in this directory. And then when we do git commit dash m and then files. Okay, that's going to tell you tell git that everything in this that we've added also needs to be checked for differences. Okay, and they'll tell that lists there basically everything four files have changed 42 insertions and it lists all the files that'll be uploading. Okay, and then we do need to do git push dash u origin master. And we're just gonna ask this for our username again and our password. Okay, and we'll wait for that to upload. It shouldn't take too long and it's done. And now if we go back to uh, this here and we do a refresh, we now have our inven files right here, all of the stuff here. Now, basically, what you want to do, um, say we go through and make a change. Oops. Um, if say we made a change to one of these thing files here, um, just uh, the CD inven uh, general settings. Oops, I forgot that. That's so, and then inven settings up. Okay, and then so we just made a, a a a change to this file. Just we'll just add a comment. Comment. Uh, I can't remember. I think that that's the syntax for a comment in an Envim file. It doesn't matter. And we just save that. Now that we've made a change. If we want to go through and upload that to Vim or to to Git, we go we go back to the uh, the highest directory of the get, the game it, the the git directory uh, git at um, oh man <laughs> so we need to uh, I've I've lost my train of thought yeah it's git add and then uh, I don't know why that was so hard it shouldn't have been, I should remember it's these little things that I uh, just completely lose my train of thought sometimes. Anyways, it's it's old timers disease is what it is. And then we just get pu push, um, and then we need to do m, and then uh, minor changes. Oops, why have I totally forgotten how to do this again? We just did it several times, right? It's not push that we need to do. We need to do git commit. I'm a dumbass. Commit dash m. There we go. I'm skipping the steps. Minor changes. Now git push dash u origin master. And then. Oops, gonna have to try that again. I mis mistyped password. There we go. And if we go back to this here and do a refresh and settings, we now have comment right there. Okay, so that is how it basically how you use Git. I don't use it that often as you can tell I always have to look up those little commands and I really shouldn't have to there there's only three there's there's add there's commit and there's push add commit push add commit push if you remember those three after you've got things set up you can go through and can constantly update your repository and you'll always have different versions so if you go here and see history 
you can see that we have two different versions and if we click on this here it will actually show us the difference between these um, so that's Git in a in a nutshell there's a lot more things you can do with Git like gists and all sorts of things I don't know about those things yet I'm still learning but that's how you use Git now if you like this video give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs down either one I don't care if you like to give uh, if you really like the video give us a subscribe and hit the notification icon to make sure you're up you're alerted to all of our awesome videos and uh, we'll see you next time